If you are one of those guys who want to go next level in helmet design, then you should listen carefully. And if you're also into 3D printing and 3D scanning, that's a video for you because what I like to do is 3D helmet design as I did in the past. Like on the helmet with the ears, check this out. But the difference is I made this helmet completely by hand. Check the video of the helmet. And now I like to go next level with data. I like to do a 3D model of the helmet before I start painting the helmet and designing the helmet. And if you want to 3D scanning and 3D printing, you know exactly that can be an absolutely pain in the ass scanning black objects. And guess what? This helmet is pitch black. So we have to find a solution to scan also black objects like the helmet. And yeah, Creality helped me with the Creality Scan Ferret Pro. That's what I like to show you because it's an absolutely cool tool. It comes with an infrared lens and with this infrared lens you can scan also black objects and that's what we are doing. Let's go. Let me show you also my personal tricks when it comes to helmet scanning because you can make your life as easy as possible with a simple trick. And what I need is a lazy Susan that's left from my granny's house stand. She died last month but it's very useful so thanks granny. And what I also need is a transparent vase made of glass like this. And yeah, I placed the vase on the Lazy Susan and then the helmet on top. And yeah, now I can turn the helmet in every direction as I like. And that's super helpful when scanning the helmet. And we need of course a device to run the Creality Scan software. I'm using a laptop, but you can use also a smartphone. And when using the smartphone, Creality provides the wireless bridge with the Creality Scan Ferret Pro. This little thing, and you can mount it on the stick together with your smartphone. So if you are outside, if you want to scan landscapes, statues or whatever you like, use the wireless bridge. But if you can scan inside, I highly recommend to use a laptop and a USB-C connection because that's much faster. You have a much higher data rate and that's exactly what I'm doing. So as you can see, scanner is not connected, but it's super simple. Only thing you have to do is plug in the USB in the scanner, then plug in the USB on the other side into your computer or laptop and boom, we have a connection. And now we can click on scan and we can start scanning. And now you're on the configuration tab of the scanner. Let's make it short and simple. You can name your project. You can choose a folder where to save the files. And then you have object. You can uh, choose from normal, face or body. It's self-explanatory. I like to go with normal because I like to scan a helmet. Then the size. I choose medium. You can choose from large to small. So medium is perfect for helmets. Then you have feature geometry or texture. In my case, I have to use geometry and I highly recommend to use geometry if you have black objects. Then you can choose the accuracy, fast or high quality. Yeah, I need it for construction, so I choose high quality. Then you can do a color mapping or no color mapping. Yeah, I have a black object, so I don't need any color. And you can use a turntable or no turntable. Yes, I have a lazy Susan, but I turn it by hand. So I select no, that's all you have to do. And then click new scan. Talking about the scan interface, it's super easy to understand. On the left side, you have these two cameras, the normal camera and the infrared one. Normal camera on top, as you can see. Infrared camera underneath. You can adjust these two, but I never did this. It runs out of the box for me if I like to scan black objects. Then you have this bar from red to green to red again. And that's the distance bar. So let's check this out. You can calibrate the distance by hand between the scanner and the object you like to scan. And it tells you what you have to do. Moving closer, moving far away, moving closer. And you have to do that until everything flashes green. So super easy to understand. Here you can see the helmet in the middle and when the helmet flashes green the distance is perfect. So it needs a bit of try and error but not much. Now I'm ready to go and on the right side there is the start button. All you have to do is click start and you can start scanning. Yeah and now I can turn the helmet very slowly. And I have to scan all the areas of the helmet until every area flashes green. Now you can see this light red and all the areas which are light red are not 100% scanned. So I have to scan these areas again and again 
until all of these areas are green. Yeah, I scanned the complete surface of the helmet and as you can see most of the areas are green. There are some small red areas but that's not a problem and what I can do now is I can click on complete and I can render the data and yeah, he asks me again do I like to complete and I say yes. And now I can do the rendering of the 3D object and this file can be transferred into a CAD software and then I can go really creative. Yeah, I changed to my power horse of a PC with an Intel i9-14900K which is fast enough to do the 3D rendering. I'm in Fusion 360, a cool CAD software. Now it's time for me as a designer to do my work. But what do I think about the Creality Scan Ferret Pro? Yeah, it's a super strong tool if you need 3D scans of objects you like to create or you like to modify. Even black objects are possible. It took me 10 minutes to scan the helmet, including the video of course, which is super fast. And yeah. Thank you for watching, thanks Creality for the support and see you in the next video with the 3D helmet design of course, so don't miss it. Thanks, goodbye.